what up Team Hawk House? We're in the studio and we got a lot to do today. Mainly we're gonna build the snowboard wax station, which we're gonna use all season long to get our snowboards all tuned up and ready for just shredding. So like, I personally love riding a wax snowboard. I hope you guys do too. I'll get into all that later more into the video. And uh, so I'm gonna build the wax setup, which is gonna go right here. And the thing that I'm most excited about is this is a mess. This is like a bunch of goggles and cameras and just stuff that I've been sent uh, over the last three years. But this is my gym. The gym is nice. I've been working out here a bunch, but I gotta look at this mess the whole time. So we'll get this all taken care of nice and ready for the wax station. And then Cody's also showing up today to not only help me, because there's a lot of help that I need, like moving all these heavy shelves, but Cody is my first ever employee, which is mind blowing to say. And we gotta train Cody. He's gonna be working on some stickers while I'm organizing boxes. We edited a vlog right here. One of the big snow vlogs that Cody helped film and I'm gonna break down how I edit this whole thing. And so he can fill in if I need him to fill in for edits slash I gotta teach him how to do like resort review edits and things like that. So literally until the season starts, it's just like catching Cody up. He dude's so smart, it's not gonna be hard to do it but getting him on how to like, if, he, if I need someone to make stickers, he can make the stickers. If I need him jump in and fill up a, like edit a vlog or a majority of a vlog, he can do that. Whatever I need, he's my like Swiss army knife type of dude. So uh, it's gonna start with moving shelves and then it's gonna go from there. So enough talking, I think he's pulling up soon. First night in Colorado when it snows on you, how was that? I didn't think to check the weather before I left or before I parked tonight. Look at Cody's home. Oh yeah, yeah. Kaiser. You like this home Kaiser? Is this your home? I got you want to show off the rig? All right, here's the rig apartment here. Got all my tools, my snowboards, and snowboards. Dog. Ooh, baby, this thing is sweet. Now we we do just stay in hotels and stuff, but we might bum some trips in Cody's uh, Narvi uh, RV. What, what are we calling this thing? Her name is Martha. Martha. We might do some snowboard trips in Martha because she's got a bed up there. Me and Benton will fit nice and tight. Kaiser's got a bed. Kaiser's right got a big old bed. You sleep in the, that's her whole bed? Now it's time to get to some work. Cody's got a lot of catching up to do. So we're talking about putting a huge evolution sticker right here. Break down the vlog. Yeah, like this is the, this was the whole point for the big screen is. Now guys, so this is, I've been so excited about this. And I built this desk with the intention of having someone work with me this winter and like we're gonna be going over videos and doing a bunch of stuff. Don't know how to do it yet for season six. Let's change the intro. So. All right. Cody's an expert now. He only needed one session. Yep. Ready to edit Ready the to whole build. vlogs. <laughs> All right. So what I did for Cody yesterday, cause he's got to now learn how to do stickers. We have this incredible sticker machine that makes awesome stickers. What I did was I made one of the easier stickers to weed, which is the grab maps. If you don't know, we have stickers that you put all over your board, which tell you where all the grabs are. So you can learn how to do all the grabs. That's linked in the description if you want those. Um, the Evolution logo is a little tricky to weed, which means peel off the excess sticker. So this is all sticker and a lot of that's gonna get thrown away. And then you'll have what is the actual sticker like this. But uh, before he learns how to do the Evolution sticker, which can teach him how to do letters, like which is like, Indie, Tindy, nose grab, stuff like that. And he's, so, yeah, anyway. Here's the torch. Stickers in the making. That flex is so much harder than it looks. Right? And you, yeah, because you start sticking to the to the letter. All right, so now that we got Cody on a task, he's got stuff to do. <laughs> I got stuff to do. We got to get into this. We It's literally a mess between like salt for building things and do, like literally camera boxes and camera equipment mixed in with like car stuff and video game things and okay. Enough talking, let's start uh, organizing. I don't have the exact solution for this problem yet, but I get a lot of things like Bluebird binding bag, which we've worked with with these awesome Evolution collabs. They, they've sent me tons of them. They're awesome. They're, they, they are so cool. And a lot of them I'm, I'm gonna give away. That's the whole point of having them. So I got all this product to give away. Kuno Optics, once again, here's just a pair of goggles I need to give away. And it's one of those things where 
obviously we, we run giveaways, we want to do giveaways on the channel, but we can't just do a giveaway every single day. I don't want to have a bunch of fake subscribers because we just gave stuff away. But also there's a lot of cool product that I want to keep. Like one of the Colorado Kuno Optics, I live in Colorado. I, I want to keep one of those just, I don't know, I, I guess I'm a hoarder, I like to keep knickknacks and things. So it's hard, I, I got snowboard gear coming out of everywhere. Like there's gloves in here, there's beanies. And yes, I'm gonna use this gear, like especially these gloves. These are gonna be my gloves I use this winter. But where did I put all these goggles? Like they're they're all, these are all full of goggles that are ready to, ready to rock. And I don't wanna destroy the studio and make it not fun or usable because I have all this stuff. And I do have a big storage area that I can put everything, but if I put it in storage, you know that goes, you put it away, you're never gonna see it again. So it's like, man, what do, what do we do with all this product. I mean, this is like whole camera, like this is like a starter camera setup kit that, oh my goodness guys, this is, this might take a lot longer than I thought. All right, next box, here we go. I made this, it's a, Put a camera there and you hold it and help stabilize it but now everything's super stable but i made this so it's cool so right now i know it looks like it's madness but there is a method to my madness we're getting all the wax stuff kind of collected over here we got all the stuff's going to goodwill i gotta take photos of it for tax reasons then i'm gonna put all that in there all this stuff is just gonna get donated it's not worth doing giveaways for, and then, yeah, let's keep going. Oh, this is. All right, we're making good progress. We got two more boxes to get through. I didn't film it, but we got the boxes. They're all done and everything. And then we got all the shelves out of here. So I got like two feet right there, which is super nice. And then we took down that shelf. We'll take these down. And I'm gonna build a shelf, maybe one above. But in the middle, I wanna hang something. I don't want anything hanging up or a shelf or anything. So it's coming together. I, that was a lot of carrying and just back and forth. So I didn't, I didn't record it, but it could work out. All right, let's rip those down. All right guys, so it's actually a different day. I had to get some supplies to finish the wax station. I believe we have everything we need to finish it. So uh, we got to hang shelves now. We got it uh, all cleaned out. Everything's good to go. We need shelves, also got a new light. So we're gonna have a light over the wax station because we have this light right here. And then we'll have a light over the gym, the home gym. And whew, here we go. And I want, I think one long one in this area. Could have been a little more level, but it's not that bad. All right, one shelf in. Before we put the other shelf in, we need to hang uh, the resort map. So I was gonna hang my pin collection here because that we go to all the ski resorts. And whenever I go to one, I snag a pin. This is my current collection, but I put that up in the office because I didn't want to get any wax on the pin. I don't want to keep it nice. You know, this is still a garage, even though it's a gym garage. Anyways, so decided to put the ski area map out here. This is linked in the description if you want it. It has all of the ski resorts in the United States on it. And if you really want to see even more, kind of dive deep into it, linked below is the resort map. And we have like all of the resorts that are we've ridden. They're marked green. If you click on them, you can see the videos, you can watch them. And then you just kind of know where we need to go and all kinds of stuff. Cause we have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. It's super sick. So uh, that's linked in the description if you want to buy that, but also check out the resort map. And now we just got to put a shelf up here. We're making progress though. Shelves say so it's looking how we want it to look. Next thing is, uh, these are awesome. These are some insane clamps. And if we were P-taxing or fixing edges, like these would be awesome, but they're kind of more just in the way. This one and this dude, they gotta go. Look who decided to come hang out with dad inside 
the studio. What's up, girl? How we doing? Press the butt. Press, press the butt. Hi, baby girl. How are you? All right, we got the top how we want it. It's cleaned off. And now it's time for what I'm most excited about. I've always wanted this for waxing snowboards. So this right here is a snowboard slash ski holder and Pearl Wax makes them. They're made from wood and they're actually handmade. They're super sweet, but they're gonna go right here and your snowboard sits on it. So you have a nice platform to, to wax. You don't have to take your bindings off. It's so nice and you can even scrape on it. So these are insane. Pearl Wax is not only my wax sponsor, but uh, they're sponsoring this video. One, they hooked us up with these. So if you want these brackets, and I'll show you what it really looks like in a second, as well as any of the Pearl Wax, um, you'll, you're about to see a ton of wax, by the way. All of the wax, everything is, you can get 20% off of it with code BUCK20 through Pearl Wax, pearlwax.com. It's linked in the description. This is one of my favorite sponsorships I have because not only have I been using Pearl long before I started the YouTube channel, but to be working with such a big company in the snowboard industry, like it, it makes me excited. And it's it, the best wax out there. Eco-friendly, not gonna hurt the environment, um, all that type of stuff. So pearlwax.com, code buck20. You can get yourself the brackets, the wax, any of that stuff. Uh, that's the ad for today's video. And let's, let's hook this all up and you guys are gonna see how sick this stuff is. So these guys are just held down by a little like clamp system type thing. So you could even like use this on your countertop or your kitchen table. Uh, just be aware of wax will drip a little bit. So put a towel down or something, but this will work anywhere. But if you have a garage too, and you can build something like this. How sick. Boom. Wax the board. Ooh, it's coming together. So the next thing we got to put in that Pearl Wax has is this uh, wax scraper sharpener. Screw that thing in right here. Spot. You making noise? What kind of noises are you making, girl? Hello. So now when I'm scraping and it's like not doing very well, I come over here and just now it's super sharp. Get all that wax off. Game changer. Okay, so we got the power cord run here, so the wax iron can be here. But then one of the tricky things about a wax iron is you can't really lay them on the side. Like the, it's still kind of hot and stuff. But I have this hook and one, I'm gonna hook it here. The iron fits on it perfect. Let's go. All right, Bobby had a better idea. She said put it on this side. That's where we're gonna put it. The cutie, batootie, the cutie, batootie. All right guys, so as I stand here today and I look at this, it's not complete, but it is usable, it's ready to rock. Okay, you ready? Wham! So I got like all the excess snowboard gear I had right here. And just you know, I was not complaining about having all that excess stuff, it was just trying to go through the process of like, I didn't know what to do with it. So if you took that the wrong way, I am sorry. I know I'm in a special position where I get a bunch of free snowboard gear and I gotta figure out what to do with it. But we got the hand warmers right here for those cold days. Inside of this drawer is all of the wax. Holy wax, whatever you need, whatever kind, whatever you want. We got the iron ready to go. Just gonna get hot while I was sitting here. Before I get this on, it's still in a safe spot, being safe. Got the scraper sharpener to just keep our scraper sharp. The base cleaner, the scrapers, the deburrs, the edge sharpeners. This, the brushes, there's so much other cool wax gear that like the Ski Doc has that we can now invest in because we have a spot for it where we can use it and it's sick and I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited. Just kind of like, I've... You wanna be a part of this? I've just dreamt of having a spot like this. I like literally have always been like, man, one day I'll have a cool spot to tune my gear, fix my snowboards, things like that. And we now have it. Which is so exciting, Bristol. Get your stuff all tuned up. Make sure it's waxed. But I hope you guys are as stoked as I am on this whole setup. Once again, don't forget to support Pearl, my sponsor. Buck 20, save you 20% off. Don't forget, Evolution merch is all linked in the description. Support the dream. Dude, season six, it's right around the corner. Dude, we're about to be ripping the snowboards. Where are you going? If you like this build video or station setup video, whatever, smash the like button. And then if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. But also subscribe because...
We're out here making snowboard rails, at least Cody is. And uh, that's gonna be a whole another separate video. And uh, let's get Cody's reaction of the wax setup real quick. All right, cuz we got, so the snowboards go on the, the racks, scraper sh sharpener, keep the uh, iron can get hot. Yeah, rack, all the tools, wax for days, woo! Those are too far apart for my board. It's not gonna fit. <laughs> Cody's Cody's board's not gonna fit. <laughs> and I'm, I'm overall, I'm just blessed, excited, and uh, dude, season six is gonna crush it. So with that team house, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. She's gonna evolve like crazy. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no I ain't never gonna need nobody No cliffhanger, yes I, I think we might need to go to Lowe's again